morning students so let's get back to our series on english literature literary moments and in this video we are going to discuss one of the important literary moments in english that is bloomsbury group you can say that this literary moment came during the age of modernism which has time duration from 1910 to 1940s after the second world war in 1945 came the new age which is post modernism and before that it was the age of modernism so you know the age of modernism was sort of earthquake in english literature it was a sort of revolutionary age in english literature before modernism we have victorian period where we have seen the writers like dickens and jane austen you can say that their works are so much uniform in nature dickens jane austen their plots were very uniform a very well designed very well curated conscious effort to make the characters very neat and clean very uniform but it is not in the case of modernism which came just after victorian period this well planned plots of victorian period were broken down by the age of modernism the age of modernism have a theme have a technique have a writing style of fragmented narrative broken narrative you can see T.S. Eliot, you can see James Joyce, Virginia Woolf, Portrait of Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce, Wasteland by T.S. Eliot, Mrs. Dalloway, or Lando by Virginia Woolf. All these works have fragmented narrative. Either they are writing in a style stream of consciousness, or they are referring it to different different sources. Quite obvious. After the First World War, the world is broken down into the pieces, and this is visible in the works of modernism. So, modernism is some sort of, you can say, earthquake in English literature. We see a lot of literary movements arising: Dadaism, Surrealism, so on and so forth. All right. So, we will discuss about Bloomsbury Group in this video. And before continuing our lecture on this particular literary movement, if you are one of those students who are preparing for UGC NET or GATE examination in English literature, then you can simply check out our study material on both paper one and paper two. Simply check the link in the description below to know more about our study material. Now, without any further delay, let's continue this discussion. So first thing first, it was a group of writers uh, who experimented with a lot of writing techniques, a lot of narratives, and the prominent writers in this group were Virginia Woolf, Leonard Woolf, who was husband of Virginia Woolf, and then Virginia Woolf's sister Vanessa Bell, her husband Clive Bell, Duncan Grant, Maynard Keynes, Lytton Strachey, Desmond McCarthy, and at last E.M. Forster. So you don't have to remember all the writers in this list. Simply go through the works of Virginia Woolf, E. M. Forster, and a biography written by Lytton Strachey. Talking about Virginia Woolf and E. M. Forster, it is not easy to go through these two writers, and it requires a separate video. So we will talk about Lytton Strachey in this video and his work, uh, Eminent Victorians, and then we can go on to understand a few more things about Bloomsbury Group, which is important from UGC Net perspective. All right, so Lytton Strachey has written an important work, Eminent Victorians. You see, uh, Lytton Strachey is from the age of modernism, and he is writing the biography on the famous people from Victorian period, the Victorian period which came before the age of modernism. And in this work, he has talked about the biographies of four important personalities: Cardinal Manning, who was the leader of Roman Catholic community; Florence Nightingale, who was the nurse; Thomas Arnold, who was an educational reformer; Charles. George Jordan who was a soldier and adventurer so he wrote about these four eminent victorians you can say the four important personalities of victorian period and he was some sort of anti romantic in his work eminent victorians instead of praising these personalities he tried to show the weaknesses of their characters he tried to show the other perspective of these four personalities and due to this he became very famous he came up with uh, something uh, which these four personalities were not aware about they were very much famous personalities of victorian period and lytton strachey came on to uh, understand their psychology of these four uh, eminent victorians and came up uh, with something anti victorian in fact the whole bloomsbury group was against and uh, the political or sexual perceptions of victorians they were the anti victorians they tried to look at the political and sexual you can say perspective of victorians through a new angle in fact Oh, most of their works have talked about you can say based on the queer theory based on the homosexual or heterosexual things for example we have virginia woolf's orlando it is a sort of queer work this work spans over 300 years where we see the young boy the protagonist of the novel orlando 
and was transformed into a woman by the end of the novel. Even many claims that Virginia Woolf was some sort of bisexual or homosexual. She had her love controversy with Vita Sequil, who too was a novelist. In fact, the works of E.M. Foster, who is the famous writer, The Passage to India. In fact, the question was there in UGC Net examination from this work, Passage to India. Even his works also revealed homosexuality, such as his work, Morris. Almost all the works or arts produced by these, you can say, writers of this Bloomsbury group uh, was against the political or you can say sexual uh, perspective of Victorians and they depicted the same in their works. So this group was a part of Age of Modernism which spans from 1910 to 1930s or you can say before uh, World War II, World War 1940s, 1940s, 1939. Okay, you can say and after 1945 came the postmodernism. So this is what all I have to share in this video. I hope you found the video worth your time. If you are new to this channel, then don't forget to subscribe the channel for more updates on English literature. That's it for this video. Thank you.